the NC two way and the um, subcommittee of legislative relief uh, gave him the opportunity to, um, and granted him the opportunity to to compete this year, which we are obviously very grateful for. Uh, I know Michael Dixon is very grateful for his family is, and um, um, so we're excited about that. Uh, we're very appreciative of everyone in the process from our administration from President Martin all the way on down to to my immediate boss, Director Tom Bowen, Compliance Jason Gray, and everyone in between. So um, uh, we're very, very fortunate and uh, looking forward to to moving forward and uh, ready to ready to get on the court. Uh, when I and when I talked to him, um, when I told him today, he was bawling, crying. I mean, the the he was he you know and and he was, I mean he was, he was just extremely emotional. And um, um, and so uh, I think the the built up tension and pressure and 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 thoughts and swinging back and forth to this point, and uh, he is very very grateful for this. And, and let me tell you something. I, I'm a big believer in in appreciation over entitlement. I'm a big believer in an attitude of gratitude about being positive, about being thankful. And so he understands that and he gets that because he he knows. Um, and I remind him on every day. That you never let your guard down. You understand that you, you know, you, this is a great lesson in life. You know that that and and it's like so when someone's injured, and they're out for a while. I don't care what sport it is, and your something's taken away from you. You realize how precious that is. So it kind of he's very grateful, Mike. I mean, he's just. I mean, the way he responded to me on the phone and. It, but his attitude has been what I want in our program, an attitude of gratitude and, and an appreciation over entitlement. I mean, there's, there's processes that you've got to go through, um, and, and I have, as everyone knows, I have the, the utmost and the respect of the NCAA. I know sometimes they get, you know, people can say this, this and that, but uh, they're, they're an organization that has done a lot of good for a lot of young people and for people in general. I mean, you know, all of us here in the athletic department are part of the NC2A membership. So um, there's there are certain processes, there are certain uh, procedures and policies that you have to follow. And sometimes times just take a little longer than, than things need to be, but, but that's okay. And that's just part of the policies and procedures. A lot of things we've been doing in the way that I have been planning on wanting to play and doing different things was, you know, having Michael Dixon included in that. So, um, uh, so that just gives us some, uh, a relief of a, of a, of a direct answer of what we needed to do, uh, moving forward as in terms of, uh, on the court. And, and, and let me say this regarding, regarding Michael Dixon, um, he will like everybody else have to earn his right for playing time and compete for the spots. And, and I think that's important. I believe in competition. I think competition's healthy. And, uh, uh but what he brings is, is leadership on the floor. He communicates. That's an area of, of, uh, that we have to get better our uh, guys talking on the floor and that's one of his strengths. And again, you're talking, you know, he'll join uh, with our with our other with his other teammates, but you look at those four guards, senior guards, they've been around they've all been on a team that's won at least thirty games. And the only thing those those guys haven't done um, as like I've said before is really have advanced deep in the NCAA tournament. So but but he will compete uh, as everybody else, because we've got other good players. I don't care if they're freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors. Um, everything's up for grabs, and we'll go from there.